match we know is from Grand Rapids, Michigan. He has a record of 10, 38, and 1. With two KOs, he's lost 11 in a row. Uh, last part was a 226 in Norfolk, Virginia. Lost to Seth Williams. No including 14 and 0, 13 wins by knockout. His last bout right here in the ABC Sports Complex. April 9th against Dennis Sharp. First round knockout there. Here we go. Our main event here tonight. In the ABC Sports Complex. Jerome Quigley in the red trunks with the white trim and white letter, lettering. And the black trunks with the white stars and white uh, bars on the left hand side of the trunk. Round one is 76. Good left hand by Dan. And once again, we break forward to him and break out by themselves. Right hand by Quigley. And move. Hands back. Combination to the body by Quigley. Hand by Nash. Champion Jerome GQ Quigley and also Cobia, the Soldier Breed. Both undefeated and both with solid performances tonight. Jerome Quigley, right now, the clubhouse leader for knockout of the year mm -hmm. with an incredible knockout of uh, Reggie Nash tonight. Perfect one two combination. Set that set that punch up for us, man. I mean, he came out strong with a um, quick jab. 
And um, kind of like, he, he came like he was trying to time me at the same time he was attacking me. Mm -hmm. You know, so I was like, okay, we got to fight. So what I'm going to do is set him up to run into something big. Mm -hmm. And I get him out here a lot sooner than later. Yeah. So when I start working my way um, from the body up, hit him mm -hmm. with a couple of um, D's to the body. You know, one, two, up, the, up top, do a couple um, overhands to get, to get, just to get his attention a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to crack him once, two, one or two, once or twice down to the body, and I seen his hands drop. Mm -hmm. So then um, after the first knockdown, I seen he got a little more aggressive after that. I said, all right, that's when I know I had him. Mm -hmm. So um, he came out throwing um, winged punches. He was throwing arm punches. Mm -hmm. So I set him up for us. All right, I know I got him now mm -hmm. because he got his body off of it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I'm, out of, I'm kind of out of harm's way. Mm -hmm. So um, I got to swing in his wild punches, and I just dropped the one-two right down the pipe. And they set him down. He didn't even, never saw it. Yeah, because after the after the yeah, first after the first knockdown, it sounded like, seemed like he got desperate. That's why you say he came out winging punches right. and everything, mm -hmm. right. trying to get trying to get the early lucky punch. Because right. I I think after that time he knocked down. I don't think he could have went the rest of the distance anyway. Well, now because um what he did when he came in, um he came in here first. Yeah. So when I dropped mm -hmm. the right hand, I hit him on his head, mm -hmm. and I think it knocked off his equilibrium, mm -hmm. which is why he was um a little dazed and stunned getting up. Mm -hmm. And then like Juan just said, he got desperate. So. I just waited for my opportunity to take him out, mm -hmm. and I did. All right, so, 15 yeah. 0, 14 KOs. You're, uh, looking at your sit situation here, uh, fighting on these Jetta Promotions cards. Uh, mm -hmm. Talk about your career, how it's going for you. Oh, it's going really well for us, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, um, I mean, like everybody knows, man, we've been rocking and rolling since we got with Jetta last year. And uh, mm -hmm. we we'll four fights yeah. in what, six months it yeah. is? Mm -hmm. And we still got many more to go. So um, I'm, I'm very happy with my career, man. Major mm -hmm. shout out to my team. Um, Tony Jetta, the Jetta Promotions, mm -hmm. Jeff Gallon, my manager, my trainers, um, Floyd um, Seymour, Donnell Miller, my man Kobe Soldier Breedy. Mm -hmm. Man, we just work in progress. We just steady building one fight at a time. Yeah, yeah and, so. and that's the understanding we're trying to get to because, you know, as writers, bloggers, commentators, everything, we see from the outside uh -huh. and only in the ring. Right. And we only have to stand corrected until you let us know what's going on with you guys because most fighters at this point, mm -hmm. with the number of fights you have, with the knockouts that you have, Seems like they try to make that turn mm -hmm. to like step it up to fight guys at a, a little bit higher caliber to bring out a little bit more of your ability mm -hmm. because you prove to a certain point that you're able to knock guys out. You mm -hmm. you have power, you have speed, and everything else. Mm -hmm. But that's what's what's the uh, the plan for your camp to well, move forward? What we're gonna do is keep on doing what we've been doing. That's building until we get the right call and uh, we take the right opportunity at the right time. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were, there were plenty of opportunities on the table for us, and mm -hmm. we um, turned them down, you know, respectfully, because we have other things in mind. So, um, and um, we have another plan in motion for us. Okay. So we're gonna do what's best for, for for myself as a fighter and our team mm -hmm. to get us to where we need to be. Yeah. I mean, if it don't make dollars, it really don't make sense. There you, you know go. There I mean? you go. That's that's the main what thing. What I'm not gonna do is, is take an opportunity, a bigger, a big risk for a, a less reward. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It gotta make sense. So that's what we're waiting for. In the meantime, we just gonna keep building to that. You know? and, and that's what we like to, you know, that's what we like as, as reporters. We like to know exactly what to be able to talk about instead of assuming. Because most of the time, we go based off of what we've seen. Right. And to hear actual from the camp, then we know what to talk about. Then we let the fans know what's going on with you. You know, we don't maybe not into detail, but we know what direction right. that you're headed in. And that's basically what we like to hear about. Yeah, and that's exactly what it, we're heading in the right direction from yeah. what it feels like to me. So. Sounds good. And my Sounds team, good. everybody happy with our performances, everybody happy with our um, outcomes and mm -hmm. our turnouts. And, um, mm -hmm. Like I said, only we keep doing is building one fight at a time until we get the right call that mm -hmm. makes the most sense. Mm -hmm. Sounds right? good. And then we take full advantage of it and capitalize. Sounds good. Thank, so. thank you, Jerome. Appreciate right. that. Let's turn to your teammate now, Kobe of the Soldier Breedy. Before you go there, oh, oh he got hit by a car oh. three weeks ago. Yeah, we oh, heard about that. Yeah, I yeah. Did that. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Three, three weeks, weeks ago, ago, yeah, I was wow. hit by um, a truck, actually. Ooh. Um, I, one night I was out running, so um, I was, I mean, honestly, I was, I, I really wasn't supposed to be here. One, mm -hmm. and two, I damn sure wasn't supposed to be fighting. Yeah. But, um, you know, um, things worked out Speed in favor, and um, we worked our way back to the position. We were going for everybody tonight, but yeah. Yeah, three weeks ago, I was hit by a truck. I wow. my road work at night. Yeah, that, that pretty much shows me what kind of condition you're in, because it takes a, a lot of conditioning physical condition and, and let your body gain recovery right and i see that with people all the time with, with stroke victims sometimes the condition of their body that's what saves them yeah you know and and pretty much the condition of yours as an athlete saves you basically from being able to be in this fight today yeah and that's what the doctor um the doctor at the hospital said you know I mean, he couldn't believe um when when they found me that nothing was broken on me i didn't have no road rash and nothing. i just had mm. a bunch of bruises mm -hmm. you know aches and pain stuff like that but nothing was seriously like damaged yeah, he couldn't believe it. You know, he was like, man, from, from the sounds of it, you, sh you shouldn't need to be here. Because mm -hmm. I was blindsided. You know, I'm mm -hmm. with my headphones on at night, and I'm in the crosswalk. 
that just came out of nowhere and satisfied right? So if there was ever a time for me to go, that should have been it. You know? But like Juan just said, my conditioning is what it was, and the man above yes, got me through it. Yes, so, and I'm here. Great to, great to hear that. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations on all fronts.